What's good, Homo Squad? It's your boy, Homo Zingy. We back here with another reaction for y'all. And today, we here with Mr. Dan Bull himself with his Minecraft Slime Rap, the real Slime Shady version A. Now, been a little minute since I've come back to Dan Bull and such, cause you already know with Dan Bull, <laughs> When you want to talk about lyricism to the maximum in nerdcore, or just in music in general, or if we're just talking in nerdcore, 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 shit, can't talk. But yeah, with Dan Bull, when you want to talk about lyricism, that man's pen is to top tier shit, where a nigga, he finds a way how to rhyme a certain word. He finds a way how to rhyme one word with another word that doesn't literally rhyme with anything, but he finds a way how to make it rhyme. Even even if it never rhymed before. But yeah, you already know. If I'm hey, all I'ma say is with this name called the real slime shady, if I don't hear a little version of the slim shady and such, because I'm the slime shady. If I don't hear something like that, I'ma be mad. I'm gonna be very disappointed. Well, not really, but still, I want to find a way how he, he he better do something like that and such. But either way, we about to check this out. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on my socials up there. And without further ado, let's get it. Finds a way how to make some sauciness and such in his own way. Where that's the thing when it comes to music, you can find that people be saucy in their music in their own type of ways. Where it doesn't have to be the traditional sauciness of how a typical rapper or so would be, but they find it to be in their own way. And hey, you gotta respect that. Down here, creep down here, or you might. Especially when he's doing it with Minecraft. Come inside my home. I'm very much obliged. Right. My friends call me. But you might know me as Sly. I am the massivest giant, gelatinous guy in this cavernous mine. My only passion is hiding a pet that is frankly passing to mine. Time with your messages, Sly. First of all, run that rhyme scheme back. Hold on. Know me as Sly. Right here. I am the. I am the massivest giant, gelat giant galacticus. In this guy in this cavern. Guy in this cavitus mine like bro. What is mine? My only passion. My only passion is hiding the what? Hiding the passion is whatever. It is hiding a passage is frightening passage of Frightening passes of chumps. Hi! Like the way how he find a way how to tie that in in that inner rhyming right there. Come on now. This is what he's saying with his type of penmanship is unbelievable. But you might know me as slime. Gelatinous guy in this cavernous mine. My only passion is hiding a passage, frightening passage to mine. Time with your messages slide in my catheters, right in your bladder supplies. Quite a fly, and you'll happen to find that you're trapped in a dial of a Kafka could ride. You can try and hit back when I die to snap as if I am elastic in size. Look at the size of this bastard, dividing like matter, the kind that'll happen when atoms collide. Not about to deny it, I'm having a fabulous time rapping this rhyme. I cram it with multi syllabics and double entendres and passions that baffle your mind. I flip mathematics like a I flip mathematics like a poltergeist, yo. <laughs> and hey, he be saying it. He loves to draw in this. Like, how you said it? Not a god to deny it. I'm having a fabulous time rapping this rhyme. I cram it with multi syllabics and double entendres and passes to baffle your mind. Yes, he does. Without a shot, and <laughs> trust me, the way how he, the way how he finds a way how to bend them shits in and, like you say, cram it and such. It baffles your mind, all right. I'm rapping this rhyme. I cram it with multi syllabics and double entendres and passions that baffle your mind. I flip mathematics like a poltergeist. Ooh, because when I divide, then I'm multiplying. I'm about to thought to die. With the result of violence, cause the boy gets right and I'm on a riot. I'm the one. I'm a one man. I'm a come on, bro. No one can harm. Here we are. Don't to cause any trouble now. Oh, it's a turn around and stop. Running for your life. Hold on, I like how this beat 
it's just like I said, this beat is saucy as hell. Hold on, let me drop the quality down a bit, and cause I know y'all gonna say, "Oh, your PC is this and that." Shut the hell up! I know. And plus, it's and by the way, it's not my PC; it's my laptop. So get it right. And I know y'all gonna say, "Well, get a better laptop." You don't think I know that? Shit. Give me a know. I do what I can. Screwface John lately, and hey, it's it's been a while since I've heard a nerdcore rapper acknowledge his Screwface John ever since the whole beef with him and Mari and such, or most likely the whole beef with Screw and nerdcore and such. Cause let's be honest, we can say it was mostly we can say it was with Mari and Screw, but let's be honest, it was mostly nerdcore and Screw over the years because at one point it was all good and such the nerd community was showing love to school and so was school showing it love back but something along the way certain things has changed and look at the end of the day sometimes i can agree with certain schools certain so, so, sometimes for me personally as a fan of both things school face and nerdcore Majority of the times, I would say screw. Even though most of the times the music hymns, the ner the music of nerdcore don't relatively relate to him and such, you gotta realize, j just because it's not your cup of tea, that don't mean it ain't nobody else's. Cause trust me, for me personally, get I love this nerdcore music for a whole bunch more and such. Cause. Let's be honest, because I saw like a tweet where Fable was talking about it and such, where when it comes to like music and such, music is like overly saturated, but like with creativity and such, but Game Boy, I think it was Game Boy Jones who reposted something like that. But when it comes down to it, it's like this. Yes, nerdcore music has like oversaturated and such, but when you look at it, there's a lot of creativity in the music and such. You don't get it a lot of days in certain, in like in the mainstream music and such, because a lot of times, it be sounding the same. But lately and such with hip-hop, it's been having this new turn and such. But with Nerdcore, you always see it every single time. So, hey, at the end of the day, sometimes with schools, logic on music, I can agree with, and sometimes, I don't think so. And hey... To each his own. Back to you might just bump into slime Two for the price of one Look, I'm providing such a good time I'm the van and just slime So Turkish delight Look in the mark of the mind Start to look twice Kind word of advice Hi, my name's Slime Shady Don't know why, but screw face shunned on my mind lately My baby, come right in my gravy Twice daily, you're right in my lane But I drive safely When I'm pulling you aside There's nothing like a traffic cop on a white lady Sick of a survive, but being a quiet baby You can quite daily or die bravely I'm a single father also, I forgot to mention, Schoolface did had an album called The Slime Shady and made a song called Slime Shady. Jelly. Put it in a jam, mm. like 
might see green but i'm just jelly see green like you're seeing envy and such but seeing green like he's a jelly but what is also but also when it comes to green it means that you're jealous you're green with envy that you're jealous at somebody come on now with Dan Bull, his type of, like I said, with his lyricism is endless because he has a multiple type of double entendres, triple entendres, whatever. Because no artist you know can do shit like that. <laughs> Respectively, of course. Or you might disappear suddenly. Don't yeah. I might seem green, but I'm jelly. Put it with a jam like gooseberries. It's very clear I need intervention. Like whatever Taki Pete the Pink Man, you just speak without an erection. Spread in my seat in every direction You're gonna need some heavy protection When I release the rest of them huh, Hold up, give it the slop against roadblock You and your crew can run up and get cold cock We're a chip off of the old block How come a Minecraft parody's a whole bop? Even with the cocktail of your How comes a Minecraft parody's a whole bop? I mean, hey, think about how that's crazy A Minecraft parody like this Minecraft rap like this is way more fire than most songs of your favorite rapper and such. Let's be, let's straight up be honest. And I said it before. Y'all can, certain people can say about what they want and such about how, oh, you listen to this type of shit. It's just talk, like it's just talking about, nigga, you not really, nah, it's not all the time. There are certain ones that are like that, but even so with certain ones like that who really do really just tells you a certain thing about a character or a show and such let's be honest the way how musically and sonically it sounds is far more better than most of the ones in the mainstream in like other hip-hop culture and what in like most mainstream music and such that's all i'm gonna say for me to say this type of lyricism is just crazy over the fold you do 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 and the fact that he kept the whole entire flow right there run that flow back as soon as when he said full moon this hmm. come in sit down so creepy. then after i can tell you something listen mate why don't you come and have a seat right here hmm. have a meeting hmm. slime merch huh and it's so crazy since we're in halloween you know certain songs like this are coming out in any genre for that matter Nice little shout out to Screw and such, I guess. But hey, man, shout out to Damn Bull, man. You know we have to, you know I have to come back for the one time for him and such. And I'm a, not gonna lie to y'all. I'll be slacking on his react reacting to him and such. But hey, it's always good to always come back to Damn Bull, like I said, because hey, at the end of the day, he's one of the pioneers of nerdcore and such. So. You always gotta show respect to the pioneers of any music or anything for that matter, cause they was the one who started this lane for you and such. But either way, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below. It's been your boy Homer Ziggy signing out. Stay positive, keep the vibes up. I'm out.